I've got a confession to make. It's really cold out here. Um, didn't realize how much the temperature had been dropping, I guess. It's only minus four out. Um, but just the breeze where I am, I'm within a couple kilometers of the bay here. So the breeze is just a little extra chilly today. Um, and guess where my gloves are? <laughs> and they're in the car, of course. Always in the car when you meet them. Um, not that the car is very far away, but um, well, I kind of already know roughly what I want here. So it's kind of a just going to get in, get out sort of deal rather than run back, get the gloves, run back out, all that jazz. So I think I know what I want here. Um, basically, there is this beautiful path here. Um, used to be actually one of the concessions here um, up in Tiny Township. And um, it's no longer a through road at all. It basically ends just here in the bush, I think. Um, but anyway, it's just this lovely view here. It's got all the little birch trees down there. They're standing out nice and white with the snow. And the rest of the trees are nice and dark. So I'm going to see if I can get a composition here, especially with a little bit of falling snow, fresh snow on the ground. We're going to see what we get. It's nice and clean. Um, quite beautiful and then there's the swamp off on my left here or marshland I suppose and I don't see anything yet with it but we'll see if I get something there as well I'm gonna take a look um, yeah let's see what I can get here and I'll talk you through it if I find something oh <sighs> well You've all heard the expression, best laid plans. I'm sure you have. Anyway, my best laid plans moment has arrived in the form of, there's no parking here. Um, the area where you would normally park on this little bit of road when you are um, in the summer is deep in snow, you have to walk over it. Um, so I'm parked out on the road, which is one of the major routes along here, but normally pretty quiet except for today apparently it's the busiest road I've ever encountered in this area um, seems to be the way it goes whenever um, whenever I go shooting but my best laid plans moment doesn't have to do with how busy the road is actually it's to do with the fact that everywhere I go everywhere I park today snow plows are following me <laughs> they're following me everywhere so one just went north I'm parked on the southbound side thank goodness but the unfortunate thing is, they're going to be here any second. They're going to be coming back in a moment. So I need to go and move my car. <laughs> Luckily, I was close enough to the highway. I was able to hear the plow coming. So I'm going to have to go out there and move my car. <laughs> Okay, so I think I might have found something. Um, confession time, I kind of had notions when I went out today of what I was going to be shooting, what I was hoping to capture. And to be fair, um, based on the weather, it seemed like a fairly reasonable thought was that I was going to be photographing freshly fallen snow on the trees and nice gentle snow scenes. And for one, the snow's sort of been coming and going, so it's been a little more difficult. And as I mentioned before, parking apparently is just about impossible because everyone wants to drive past you when you're parked somewhere. Um, but anyway, I noticed a lovely scene on my way up, um, up County Road 6, that I have come back to now. Um, there's this lovely abandoned barn. It's got a nice big tree behind it. Um, and I'm going to get out there in a minute and photograph it and talk you through it as well. But... Before I do that, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say now. Ah, yes. But before I, but before I get out there, um, one of the big things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remember to put my hat and my gloves on this time so that I'm a little bit warmer. It's just gonna be my thin gloves, but it's something. Um, and then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try and photograph this and see what we get. 
Okay, so very glad I got the gloves on. They're very thin, but they're still gloves. Um, but go figure, I chose what appeared to be an abandoned back road that had very little traffic. I've already had two cars go past in the five minutes I've been here. I've only just gotten out of the car even. But anyway, we're gonna see what we can get here. Um, see how many cars go past us as well. Got my car parked there on the side of the road. Just a feared, at least the nice thing about where this location is, is that the barn is right at the intersection of Highway 6 and one of the concessions. So it's nice and, uh, well, it's nice and easy to park off the main road, which is good. Um, yeah, we're gonna see what we can get here. I saw a really neat shot because there's the tree behind the barn. So I'm gonna turn here. So there's the old barn there, right there. And it's got that big tree behind it. But I saw an angle where the tree is actually kind of just off the corner of the building. So I'm gonna have to walk out along the highway and see if it works or not. But yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so I'm trying to decide if my composition's a little too busy here. It's hard to see on the camera here, but there's a whole bunch of little bushes in between me and the barn. So I haven't yet decided how I'm gonna shoot it, if I'm actually gonna work from here, or if I'm gonna walk to the other side of the red barn and try the other direction, or if I'm gonna walk back towards the car a little bit along the side of the road here because there was a better angle there possibly i might even just try all three to be honest with you um haven't quite decided county road six is busy today apparently um so we're gonna see how it goes and you may or may not be able to see it but it is snowing again so we're gonna see what we get here well other than the extra bushes, I'm actually quite happy with that composition. I chose a slightly different angle than I originally thought. I originally thought I was going to get a little tighter in on the barn. As I was saying, I was hoping to get a little tighter in, but the 24 to 70 is just a little bit too wide still at 70. Um, I should have put the 70 to 200 on, I suppose. But um, today is test day. Um, I want to give a shout out to the folks down at Henry's Camera uh, in Barrie specifically um, i've been dealing with them for many many years no this is not sponsored um, i just want to give them a shout out because they're awesome um, basically i've been shooting with a used 24 to 70 for just over, just around three years now and i've had it out for several repairs um, probably because i bought it used i don't know but it had recurring problems. So, we are now rocking the Sigma 24-70 DN Art on the Sony. Absolutely beautiful lens. Um, I've only been using it for four hours, <laughs> but absolutely fantastic lens. Super light, really well balanced, beautifully sharp. Um, the only downside is I now have to go and get 82 millimeter filters. But anyway, I'm gonna try this composition now. I've moved to the other side of the barn. We're going to see what it looks like. Um, just to give you an idea, I love working at 2.8, but for today I'm working at ISO 100 F4, 1 400th of a second roughly, um, just depending on my lighting conditions, and we're working with that. Anyway, just tried the third composition out here. So as you can see, that tree is now behind the corner, but it still works, I think, because um, there's a, another tree off to the left side of the barn. So we did that shot too. We're gonna try it out. I will post my favorite one in the video if it comes out how I like it. And if not, you probably won't see any of this. So we'll see. I think it is time to go and have a nice cup of cocoa. Maybe take a nap. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting back to the car now. Gonna head out. Thanks for watching, catch you later.